how do you guys address the some of the issues right now stopping the run first yeah of uh you know it's, it's a big harp on us this week yeah. if you guys were out there i wish you guys would have been a whole lot of yelling <laughs> and this is all in a good way you know what i mean we just needed to change our, our mindset towards our defense and towards our unit because we know we're better than that uh we we recognize the real it hasn't been the same as it was even this year hasn't been the same as we know we can do so you know it's just going to be a huge emphasis this week uh, on stopping the run and uh, you know that's this practice is probably one of the best practices we had the whole year um, in terms of holding others accountable wrapping up stripping balls and all that stuff doing our assignments so it, it's a big emphasis this week but we'll get it fixed so you're saying you're yelling keeping it accountable it's not a is it an anger yell or is it just not, not gotta get fired up not in the slightest man you know you, you have to get you have to get some type of energy mm -hmm. in order to receive energy. I feel like um, you know that, that's just what we're doing. You know, I was out there yelling. I don't, I'm not a talker, but I was out there doing my part. You know, because I feel like it's just a huge emphasis. You know what I'm saying? And we want to get it fixed real bad. So it, it you know, it, it's been it's been kind of you know strange in a way. But you know, I, I just know we're like one click away from being the best defense in the country. I feel like because we there's certain you know things that the, the people are missing on assignments and stuff like that and it's just little stuff you know what i'm saying once we take care of those little things you know of course stop the run uh, you know I, I feel like you know it's going to be a big change one common denominator to the success in the season has been playing across the street here yeah uh you know that that that, that home crowd you know they're going to be out there they're going to be live so you know the whole environment's going to be crazy blackout too like i said you know it's going to be a pretty wild environment. You know, our fans are going to help us, you know, cheers with victory. And hopefully we go out there and get that W. Military appreciation tag, does that mean anything in your family? I mean, uh, the, the most it probably means is my dad works for Tinker Air Force Base. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, I, uh, of course, I have love for all military, you know, personnel and all that stuff. You know, I appreciate them and as well as everybody on this team does. And, uh, you know, we're, we're, you know we're, we're glad to go out there and play for them on this weekend. So. Iowa State. You know, I was listening to their coach's press conference today, and Matt Campbell said they probably played their best football of the season in the second half against West Virginia. It's always great to catch somebody when they're when they're peaking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it definitely is. Uh, you know, we're going to get them at their best, and they're going to get us at our best because you know this week our, pre our preparation is going to be different. And, uh, you know, we're going to attack the week way different than we have. So, uh, you know, we're ready. I wouldn't for necessarily it. say. What what can you guys do better to get to the quarterback? Uh, stop the run. Uh, I'm, I'm going to say this to the wheels fall off, man. We we just can't stop the run right now. And once we do that, we're going to earn the right to rush your passer, and uh, you know life's going to be a whole lot easier for us. So stopping the run is the, the big key right there. As a collective unit, what's it going to take to you know make those run game improvements? Uh, first off, you know sticking together, uh, playing as a unit, you know uh, doing our job and assignment. Uh, you know those are, those are the base things that are going to uh, come with it, and of course you know tackling, wrapping up, and. Uh, you know, just securing our gaps. So, uh, you know, all, all that stuff's going to play its part, and uh, I feel like we're going to be well prepared this week for it. You know, when dealing with all the injuries you guys have, how difficult is it to compile a game plan? Yeah, uh, no, honestly, not really, because, you know, we have we have guys out, but, you know, the guys that are behind them know the same stuff that they know. The guys that are out know, you know what I'm saying? And uh, they're just going to, you know, pick up where uh, the guy who's out left off and then, uh, you know, just go from there. So it's really not that not that different in terms of game plan. Obviously, when you have guys like Brendan, Brock, Trace, mm -hmm. maybe, I mean, how, how have you seen those younger guys, like you said, uh, adjust to the atmosphere? Yeah, it's crazy, right? Because I mean, I feel like I'm considered a young guy, but, you know, I feel like I've been here three years. So, but uh, yeah, I, I've seen them adjust really well. Uh, you know, of course, I'm a sophomore, but most of the guys who are young are sophomores, too. Right. I've seen I've seen them just real well and you know, go out there and play their hearts out. So you started as a freshman. Is there any advice you give to those younger guys getting this new experience? Uh, just go out there and do your job. You know you don't have to worry about stats. You don't have to worry about what people are saying. Uh, just do your job, do your assignment, and the stats will come with it. So for more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.